last thing for, as well, just to touch on, it's a bit of a wider thing. And I'm not going to, we're not going to be one of those podcasts that's going to start bashing referees because we're, it's the, one of the hardest jobs you can do. So we're not going to stand there and do this. But I was very, I'm, I'm probably going to stick up for Paul Williams, really, because though he did, he missed a couple of things and there was a blatant off the fit where, I don't know, uh, the, the Highlanders' seventh completely off his feet and he's given a penalty against the Chiefs. I'm like, oh, God. But, they're, they're, the, the Kiwi commentators are like, he's in, like, there's too many penalties. I was like, he's enforcing the laws of the game. The amount of time yeah. we've seen Super Rugby over this period, that they don't referee the breakdown. But it was, they were, they, they're not, they, so a lot of the attacking teams, especially the Highlanders, were getting caught quite early on with not securing their own ball because people were, because they were pinging them, rightly so, because they, they were getting over. I think it was a bit harsh. It, they were, he was kind of, got at the entire game for doing his job and officiating the breakdown properly. Yeah, and that, and that was the thing, is that there was uh, the comments after and during the game was not about necessarily specific decisions. It was just that there were a lot of penalties, which isn't really arguing, arguing that um, the referee's doing everything wrong. He's just doing a lot of it. Um, kind of, they weren't picking specific instances. And actually... Yes, he was refing it strictly, and yes, in both games, really, the teams hadn't adjusted properly, and they were all getting pinged. But that was always going to happen. You bring in changes like this, where you are going to ref it to a stricter degree. Um, uh, it'll just take a few weeks to adjust, which actually I think is, for the Crusaders might be a big advantage because they've had a week to look at how it's being ref by these two refs and go, ah, this week we'll. That's very Be true. strict, strict on the breakdowns, strict on the defence. No one going off their feet, making yeah. sure everyone's tackling and not getting in the way. Um, uh, and actually, give it a few weeks, and the penalty counts might get lower. I mean, first thirty is a lot, and it it does ruin the flow of the game to an extent. But if he's refing the rules, he's refing the rules. Yeah, completely agree. And it's a credit to um, I don't know how much of the post match interviews you watched, but it was a Real credit to um, both Weber and uh, I think Smith was the Highlanders captain. Yeah. They both were very explicit in saying that the issues that their team had been having was because, were because they were not doing the correct things. They were being undisciplined. There was absolutely no question in the players' minds and the coaching team's minds about whether what the referees were doing was right or wrong. It was mm. actually quite refreshing, really, because... There are some DORs and some fewer, fewer amongst the players, but certainly the DORs in England who are very ready to criticise referees when they feel like yeah. the situation hasn't gone their way. Mm. So it was, it was really, really good to see and kind of emblematic of the, um, the mood that the whole weekend was played in. Yes. That everybody was just quite happy to, or very happy to be there and keen to do things in the right way be a good advert for the game. It was really nice to see. 